um, over the earthquake and the tsunamis in Japan. However, when I was in Japan, I was actually in um, Okinawa, which was safe and it was really safe. I had no worries if I was still in Okinawa. But um, this video is um, kind of going to be like a rambly video, I guess. Um, I got a lot of questions because now I start to wear a hijab. So, um, yes, I'm still in the military. As you see, I have on my pants and my jacket right here. Getting ready to go to work. Um, today is the 29th of March. I took my Shahada on the 20th of March. And a Shahada is kind of like a confirmation of religion. So I basically said that I believe in one soul, you know, deity, which is Allah, and um, Muhammad, you see about him, is his um, messenger. Basically, that's all that says. But, um, yes, I can wear my hijab while I'm in uniform because not only AR 670 1, paragraph 1 7, but also AR, AR says for Army Regulation, AR 600 20, paragraph 5 7 also states that with the chaplain's consent that he can talk to the commander and the commander has his own discretion on what someone can wear. Now when I wear my hijab in uniform, you see this part right here that kind of hangs out and it's kind of dangerous? I just tuck it actually into my collar and then it's kind of just like a, more like a swim cap it looks like I guess. So it started off with me just wearing this underscarf right here and it kind of just comes down like right about here and my bun's like right down here so you can see like the little ball of my bun hanging out but um I guess a lot of people thought that I took my shahada I started you know going to the masjid and everything and it was just like one overnight thing and it really wasn't an overnight thing so I guess I will kind of tell my story about how I converted to Islam it started in 2007. I went to a uh, Catholic university, University of Detroit Mercy, and ironically, a majority of the students are actually Muslim, not Catholic. I was Catholic, and I had met, you know, a Yemeni girl that you know I came good friends with, and one day I said, um, "I'll wear hijab with you," because. Even though there weren't many Muslims, most of the Muslims were actually men. So she said, um, at first she was really cool. She's like, yeah, she's like, that'd be cool. But then um, she came up to me one day and she's like, I don't think you should wear it because people will think I converted you. So I was like, okay. So when the summer came, I was like, let me wear this. This is actually the one that I had bought to wear with her. But um, so I'm driving and I got my hijab on and my car broke down. So I'm on the side of the road. And uh, I'm Catholic, and I look like a Muslim. And what well, the disheartening thing was that nobody moved their car over, so I had to get out of my car and I had to move like as far away so that way if someone hit my car it wouldn't hit me. So that was disheartening. And then I went to Japan, and my executive officer for brigade uh, was a Muslim, or is a Muslim, and uh, we started talking. He started giving me, you know, like all this information, and, you know, I just, he started actually quoting to me, but, like, he started quoting verses in the Bible that say, you know, women, you know, they should also veil themselves, and it's not just all in the Old Testament, so it's not just Mosaic law, you know, that only Jewish women have to do it, so, I was like, okay, and then, um, once I decided that Islam was for me, I only told my husband, and he's really supportive, and he agrees with it, though he does not want to be Muslim, so teach down. But, um, so I had a picture of me on Facebook. I think it was in this one. This is the hijab that I was wearing. And basically, with these ones, because this one is like a two-piece, but with these ones, you just kind of just clip it, and then you wrap it. So it's just me and this one, and um, his sister started asking questions, and I really didn't want to tell her that I was Muslim, and so she coaxed it out of, you know, her brother, and 
So basically she thought I was a terrorist. And uh, Islam is not about terror. It's uh, really not. So actually the word Islam comes from the word Salam and Salam means peace. So that's why you always hear Assalamu Alaikum, which means peace be on you, and then the response is Well they come Assalam, you know, peace also be upon you. So I guess that's it. That's my me converting to Islam story. But um I guess because, you know, I watched that video today about women wearing hijabs in the workplace, and I think if a female in the Army is wearing, you know, her hijab on post at work every day, then women that don't work for the military, you know, should be able, you know, to stand strong and say, okay, I'm going to wear my hijab, and I don't care what anyone says, though I really can't be fired. I could be chaptered out of the military, that's pretty much it, but I already have the commander's approval, so, but just don't listen to people and keep strong.